As the war in West Asia drags on, its ripple effects are being felt elsewhere around the world. U.S. universities have become the latest flashpoint. And this as students across the country are holding pro-Palestine protests at different campus premises. In the latest, chaos ensued on campus at University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA after an all-out brawl between the pro and anti-Israeli protesters. The two groups of demonstrators clashed on the scene, which saw firework thrown into a crowd of people and the use of pepper spray. During skirmishes, many protesters attempted to draw out wood pallets, plywood and metal fencing blocking the encampment. Overnight, campus police broke many fights. Earlier today, NYPD officers dressed in riot gear stormed through the window of the Columbia University building in Hamilton. The police personnel flushed out dozens of protesters within the campus building. The officials flooded the Ivy League campus in New York City and made a push towards Hamilton Hall. The police has now cleared the hall, which students had taken control of. Now, the Hamilton Hall had been barricaded by students who have vowed they will fight any eviction as they protest the soaring death toll from Israelis from Israel's war with Hamas in the Gaza Strip. When protesters broke windows, stormed inside and unfurled a banner reading Hins Hall symbolically renaming the building for a six-year-old Palestinian child killed in Gaza by the Israeli military. Interestingly, the hall itself has a long history of student protests. In 1968, anti-Vietnam War protesters barricaded themselves in the hall. Well, during the raid by the police, dozens of other officers surrounded the nearby protest site. Onlooking students standing outside the campus jeered them with shouts of shame, shame. Now, officers were also seen leading handcuffed protesters to police vehicles outside campus gates. As of now, the police are yet to confirm how many students they have detained. But reports suggest the police has boarded about 50 detainees onto a bus, while nearly 100 students have been arrested. Ambulances and other emergency services vehicles also stood on the road. Now, according to reports, the raid comes after President of Colombia asked the police officials to come to the campus to restore order and safety following an escalation in the demonstrations. Moreover, the action came as university administrators around the U.S. struggled to contain pro-Palestinian demonstrations on dozens of campuses. The unrest has swept through the U.S. higher education institutions like wildfire. The protests have posed a challenge to university administrators who are trying to balance free speech rights with complaints that the rallies have veered into anti-Semitism and hate. In one of the newest clashes at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, the police has moved to clear one encampment, detaining some protesters in a tense showdown. During this part of the protest, law enforcement used pepper spray on protesters, which led to the demonstrators to throw bottles at the officials. At the University of Texas in Austin, state troopers were at the scene of a pro-Palestinian protest. The university has seen fierce clashes between the protesters and authorities, with students loudly calling for a ceasefire in the Gaza Strip and demanding their university divest from weapons manufacturers. 
The UCLA campus has now declared that the pro-Palestinian encampment on campus is unlawful and violates university policy, warning that students who do not leave will face possible suspension or expulsion. This comes as pro-Palestinian protesters continued to occupy an encampment on campus. More than 50 tents have been set near the main administration building on campus. Security has been tightened with metal fencing surrounding the encampment. As the U.S. campuses are hit with demonstrations, the former president Donald Trump has blasted the protests. Trump questions if Columbia University students who took over the building will face similar consequences to those stormed to those, in fact, who stormed the Capitol three years ago on January 6th. If they took over, I know the building very well, they took over a building. That is, that is a big deal. And I wonder if what's going to happen to them will be anything comparable to what happened to J6. Because they're doing a lot of destruction, a lot of damages, a lot of people getting hurt very badly. I wonder if that's going to be the same kind of treatment. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.